Oh, g'day guys, it's Sam here from Built Not Bought and today we're installing the new Airbag Man High-Low Suspension Kit. So, how is this kit different to what I've already got on there? So what I've already got are the Airbag Man airbags inside the coil springs there. Now what I can do there is there's some hoses and outlets at the back, pretty much plug in a compressor and pump them up and down. But I wanted to go that next step. So what this is, is an automatic controller which gives you the ability to tweak the left and right just with the switch inside the cab. It will also have an onboard compressor and tank, so with having that capability, I can actually use that to pump up tires, use an air like gun hose thing to blow stuff out as well, um, as well as having the onboard air to pump the airbags for the suspension up themselves. I think rather than running it all back into the cab, I'm gonna use the space under the tray. I'm gonna get one of these side dog box things to put underneath the tray in front of the tire on the passenger side there and put all the switches and everything in that. So when I put the canopy on, I can just open that flap, the compressor's there, the tank's there, hit the switch up and down and get the height right because pretty much the whole idea I'm doing this is because when the canopy goes on the back of the ute, it makes it sag and when it's off and just a tray back, it sits up a lot higher. Let's start unboxing this thing and see what we've got inside. So of course we've just got our instruction set, there's some cables and connectors in here because all the hoses and stuff um, are supplied to be run from the airbags to the switches. That's what all this stuff is for. We have, uh, what's in the box today? Ah, here's the switches. So these are the switches I was talking about. Now what they do is, it's not electronic. It is literally like a valve, I think. There's a supply and return there. You pretty much plug those hoses into the back of this. And as there's pressure, you can trigger up or down, which is letting the air in or letting it out pretty much. Air compressor itself. I've heard these are quite good, nice and small, but have lots of grunt. Now, as I mentioned before, you can use them to pump up tires. So what Airbag Man have done, have actually supplied their own inflation kit. So you can use that capability, which is really nice. And then the air tank itself, I think it's a nine liter or seven liter, doesn't say. But that's enough to take care of the airbags there. And uh, that's a wrap. All right, first things first, I guess we'll take a look at the instructions here. Okay, now it says here to first look at installing the compressor there. So what, oh God, oh jeez. Oh, this is built not bought. Come on guys, we don't need instructions. Let's just work it out as we go, eh? Okay, now just looking at this compressor a bit closely, there's a cool design feature that they've got here. What it is, is this is the air intake. So wherever you mount this, it can actually be mounted outside the vehicle in the water and the dust and all the elements there. And it uses this hose which plugs in and you can place this air intake somewhere inside the car or in an enclosure where it gets the fresh air. So that's pretty cool. You can either sort of locate it there or just wind it on as normal. So it gives you some options of where to locate this thing. All right guys, I'm back the next week and now what I've done is got all the bits and pieces that I need to put this thing together. So I've chosen one of these toolboxes. I just grabbed this from my local Super Cheap Auto Store. It was on special, fit perfectly on the patrol there. But all I've done is taken a couple of pot rivets out to get the door off and taken the rubber seal off so it gives me easy access to install pretty much everything inside this box. I want to get as much of this stuff in here as I can because it keeps it out of the water, it keeps it out of the dust and um, makes it look nice and tidy. So, don't know whether the tank will go in there yet or not. It may have to go under the tray, but definitely the compressor and all the switches and that are gonna get put in here. And of course, guys, I haven't mentioned this for a while, but please make sure you do subscribe to my channel. Um, I know the start of this whole channel was me doing the build of the patrol, so I wanna try and continue that as much as I can by doing stuff like this. Whenever I put a, you know, whenever I make a modification to it or add some new stuff, 
I'm definitely going to film that so you guys can learn what's involved um, and check out different products here and there as well. And of course, we've got plenty of the camping and the driving as well. So please subscribe and um, jump over to my website as well and get yourself a t-shirt. There's a new shirt that's come out as well. That came out a little while ago. Um, the grey shirt. We've got the singlets coming into summer soon. That'd be awesome to get a singlet and some stickers. I appreciate that a lot, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, so I think I've just sort of finished stage one here. I've actually got the compressor and everything mounted. You can see where the gauge is going to end up. We've got our switches for letting the air in and out. I've got to clean out the wiring a bit more, but there's two adapters ready to shoot straight out the back to the airbags. And then I've got a switch to mount here, which will plug this in. Main cable to come in, earth to go out, and that's pretty much it. That bag that I showed you earlier, this one here is going to pretty much fit straight in there, close the whole thing up, and that'll be my air system. So we'll have a look at finishing those last few things off and then um, mount it to the tray. I'm probably just going to use some nut sets in the top of the tray there, four bolts, two on each side, and then screw the whole thing up and it will be one complete unit. We've got the thing installed finally. Sun is blazing in me bloody eyeballs. God. Everything's plumbed up. We've got power coming through the back there through the little grommet. And we have got both the hoses run to the actual airbags. Took me a bit of doing, did it late last night. Ended up having to pull the coils out because the little tab on the top, you need to get some pliers in there to kind of get the old ones out first. And then I could go ahead and put these new ones in. So the last thing I need to do is make a mount for this um, little adapter here for the main hose compressor for doing your tires but I'm just going to track that in there now so we know that it's all sealed up and this button here basically will trigger all this whole system light up the gauge and everything should be good to go so there we go and once it's up to the level it needs to be it'll cut out automatically then we can start playing with the actual airbags there There we have it. Things just cut out there. So down is to take the air out. As I put it in, you can hear it starting to go up. And these numbers here will change. So now I've got 25, 17 psi in that airbag. Come up some more. Whoa! The thing will kick back in. And then coming down, lets the air back out. That is the install there guys for the Airbag Man suspension kit. I'm pretty happy with what I got there. What I can do is use it for the tires as well. Um, obviously you're at the beach, you can pump them up. The main idea I did it for is so when the canopy comes off, you drop the air out, it's gonna sit nice and level. 
but when the canopy's in, the back needs to be boosted that little bit just because of the extra weight. So pretty clean, easy setup. I like the way it's all sitting inside that box there. Only a couple of cables and hoses coming in and out and it all looks tidy. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, peace. <laughs>